Hello guys, today I want to show you Laravel packages that add some functionality on top of the default user model in Laravel. So I will show you 11 different packages divided into 5 groups and the first one you already see on the screen. Well known, popular Spotty Laravel permission to add authorization with roles and permissions. But with this first group related to authorization, did you know about other three alternatives? For example, there's Bouncer by Joseph Silber, which does pretty similar things, just in different syntax. So in case of Bouncer is Bouncer allow, Bouncer assign. In case of Spotty permission, it's give permission to, assign role and stuff like that. And in most cases, it's a personal preference which one to use. Both are good enough. But there are more alternatives, two more packages which are pretty old. The first one is called Lara Trust by Santiago Garcia from Colombia. And if you scroll down to README, as you can see, the first versions of Lara Trust go way back to Laravel 5.0 and probably even before because that's Lara Trust version 4. The functionality, it's pretty similar, adding roles and permissions and verification. So if we look at the docs of Lara Trust, again, it's pretty similar. Add role, give permission, is able to, has role. Same thing, but with different syntax. And another old package, but still working, is called Sentinel. Not sure if any one of you has worked with Laravel 4 version, but at the times of Laravel 4 and even 3, there was Cartelist, like the whole ecosystem of packages, paid packages at the time. And one of the most popular ones of them was Sentinel. So again, version 1 dates back to Laravel 4.1. But now it's still supported in Laravel 12 and you can still use Sentinel in your projects. But the documentation page looks pretty old, to be honest. And the package provides not only authorization, but also authentication. It's compared with Sentry and not the Sentry that we know as a company for managing bugs. Again, back in Laravel 4 days, there was a Sentry package popular by Cartelist. And you can read more about Sentinel in their docs and I will put all the links in the description below. But from what I've noticed, for roles and permissions, majority of developers now use Spotty as kind of a standard and other three packages are used by people who started with those packages back in the day. So they still continue, they still work and there's no point to refactor to another package. But generally, if you're starting a new project for roles and permissions, I would recommend either core functionality of Laravel like gates, policies and stuff like that or if you want a package probably go for Spotty Laravel permission. So that was the package group number one, authorization. Next, two packages to log the activities of users. Again, one from Spotty, Laravel Activity Log, also very popular, which basically allows you to log the activity by user with syntax like this, performed on, caused by, log, and then you can get all the logs with other functions in this package. And then another package similar but less scope for just authentication log from Rapasoft. Anthony is a well-known creator of Laravel packages and projects and he has Laravel authentication log which if you install with Composer require will log all the events related to authentication. So who tried to log in from where for example it includes the location features with another separate package and then it gives you something like this. So user authentications, last login at, last login IP address and stuff like that. And there's even an example of displaying the logs with live wire tables for example and it would look something like this. Login attempt, successful, not successful, and other data. So yeah, two packages for logging of user data, but with a bit different purpose, and you can use both for different functionality. The next group of packages, two packages to log in as another user. And this is a tricky and sensitive topic. So you have to be really careful whether you're allowed to log in as another user to see their data. This depends on your legal stuff and GDPR probably, but quite often Often developers need to log in as another user to fully see what happened, what was the bug or the situation and to help to support to debug issues because quite often we as developers don't see what actually happens for specific user in their specific situations and user are really creative to get into some trouble situations that we as developers didn't even think about. 
So Laravel Impersonate, which supports Laravel 12. And by the way, all the packages that I mentioned in this video seem to support Laravel 12 and have latest updates like months ago, which means Laravel 12. So Laravel Impersonate, after you install and configure it, allows you to do something like this, auth user impersonate, and then your session is switched to that user. And then you can leave impersonation to switch your session back to admin or something like that. Another similar package called Lara Personate also supports Laravel 12. And after the installation, you add has impersonation trait to user model, also a few configurations available. And then basic usage is something like this below impersonate begin or admin impersonate. So a bit different syntax and a bit different configuration, but basically the same idea. You log in as other user, and then after you debug the situation, you log back as administrator. The next group of packages is two packages to manage avatars for users. So there's Laravel avatar, which allows you to achieve something like this, like avatars with initials with letters. And this package is also pretty old. As you can see, Laravel 5.2 is mentioned, but it still supports Laravel 12. And usage is something like this avatar create and you can use it directly in image source with to base 64 or you can save as file and another package called gravatar which is for gravatar specifically and again dates back to laravel 5 so you can figure quite a lot of things and then gravatar get by email will provide you with the avatar from gravatar which identifies the user avatar by email and the last package that I want to show in this video is kind of like negative or angry package Laravel ban. That's why I saved it for last. It allows you to, well, ban users or ban actually any eloquent model. So you can ban organizations, teams, groups, and others. So this is the installation and configuration. And in the usage, you use bannable as a trait in the user model, for example. Also, you need to have this timestamp in your migration. And then that's it. You do user ban or user ban with expiration date. Also, you can do unban and check is banned and many related functions with different options. Probably most useful for something like forums or social networks. So yeah, these are 11 Laravel packages around Laravel user model and auth. And this comes from a bigger list that we have on Laravel daily. We have a free resource. So in the resources, there's menu item best Laravel packages currently 220. And one of the groups of the packages is about auth and users. So there are a few packages which I haven't shown in this video around auth and users. So I will put the link to this page in the description below. And from here, you get the links to all the GitHubs of all those packages. If you know some packages that are missing from the list, then suggest them in the comments below. Keep in mind, I'm trying to keep it best Laravel packages list. So I have a criteria of at least 100 GitHub stars, which is kind of a vague metric, but proves that the package is at least somewhat usable and popular. Trusted by community, basically. In the future, I'll probably make another video reviewing another group of packages like code structure or admin panels. So subscribe to the channel to not miss any videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.